Welcome back. Um, just finished work and this week I've got a pretty good shift so I can get the birds out after work which is pretty good. So we'll get them out for a bit of a fly. And then we'll give them a pretty good feed. Because, um, yeah, they're not getting out much lately because of this weather so it's good to get them out for a bit of a fly now. So let's go do that. Come on. Hey, what are you doing? Give this a bit of a clean now while those birds are out flying. Oh, wow, you're learning quick, aren't you? Come here. It's all right. Come here. Come on. Just so I can clean this floor. Come on. Hey, come here. Come here. Hey, what are you doing? How are you going? Come here. Come on. Oh, you nearly made it. Come on. Try and get something to eat before the others get in here. Come on. Come on. I'm gonna come down to me. Come on. You'll figure it out. I'm actually super impressed how quickly these guys are, you know, picking it up in here. You can see before how well they flew up onto there. They couldn't do that a few days ago. Now you can see that they're getting stuck into a bit of food, which is a good sign. That just means uh, these guys are going to be quite happy in here. You better hurry up and eat it. So it won't be long um, once they get used to eating out of here then I'll start tr training them with the call and then I'll put them up in the trap um, and start training them in the Sputnik. Come on. You can see that they are fully feathered under the wing now and that's generally when I wean them. Come on, you better hurry up and eat because these other guys are coming in. Here they come. Come on. Come on. Hey, <laughs> are they scared, did they? You'll be right.
mom. Uh, he's getting the hang of it, aren't you? You're just a bit slow. Come on. I think this one hit the window. I need to wait for him to come in and have a look and see if he's hurt himself because uh, I don't know what happened but he came out of there that quick and he wasn't even looking where he's going and I think he hit the window. I might have to have a look at um, my security camera and see what happened. You probably heard the thud in the earlier video but um, yeah he's a little bit startled because he's the only one that hasn't come in so hopefully he hasn't hurt himself. Come on. You two are really getting the hang of this, aren't you? Come on. You definitely don't look like. What's happened, mate? Come here. Ah, oh, what's going on? I think I've got a cheeky junior. Hey, what are you doing on my head? That's what Cheeky used to do. Cheeky's like, hey, that's what I usually do. It's alright. You're just getting a little bit jealous, aren't you? See if we can catch that one. I'm pretty sure it was him that hit the window, so. Doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look like he's injured. Just gonna have to keep a bit of an eye on him. Because he's actually one of the few cockbirds that I do have. If you do remember him, he was the one that was um, a bit sick and we were a bit worried about him. Oh, now another one's landed on me. You pigeons landing on me everywhere. So hopefully he's alright because I don't want to lose him. You can see everything, his wing marks and that's where he's hit Bulls. it's come straight out hit that silly bird all right so she's doing it now this barless hen she's actually sitting in the nest bowl she's been doing this for a few nights but it's actually hard to get anywhere near her to sort of get a um a good enough look at what's going on but you can see she's just sitting in there see sorry about the swabbly but you can see that um yeah she's sitting in there she has been sleeping in there which is strange i thought you know maybe she was sitting on eggs but i went and checked and there was, there was nothing in there so i'm hoping that she's getting close to laying but who knows it's quite funny because if i do go out there she'll quickly run off the nest anyway so She's a funny one, this hen. All I want is one round of babies off these guys and I'll feel a little bit better because they're very wild and they... I've nearly lost them a couple of times when they're trying to get in there and do stuff because they just try and fly out. So, fingers crossed that that's what she's actually doing. Come on. Come on.
Come on. Come on. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. I'm going to keep an eye on that little cockbird up there. Make sure that he hasn't got concussion or anything silly like that. Fingers crossed he's alright. Lucky he didn't break my window, but main thing he's alright. That's the main thing. So hopefully catch you guys tomorrow. Um, don't forget to hit that notifications button. And hit subscribe if you're not. Because this weekend I'm going to push these birds out a little bit further. Hopefully the weather will hold out. It is looking like it's going to. So we will. See ya.